Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Medvision. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to never miss the new update. Today's video is based upon the superficial and deep veins of the upper limb. So let's get started. Superficial veins. There are five superficial veins in the upper limb. Let us look at each one of them in detail. The first vein is the dorsal venous arch. This is the dorsal venous arch. Its tributaries include three dorsal metacarpal veins, dorsal digital vein from the medial side of the little finger, a dorsal digital vein from the radial side of the index finger, and two dorsal digital veins from the thumb. All these veins constitute the tributaries of the dorsal venous arch. The efferents include the cephalic vein, which runs along the lateral side, and the basilic vein, which runs along the medial side. Cephalic vein. This entire vein is the cephalic vein. It is a preaxial vein of the upper limb. It begins from the lateral end of the dorsal venous arch. It runs upwards through the anatomical snuff box. The anatomical snuff box is an area present near the thumb, which is made up of three muscles. It winds around the lateral border of the distal part of the forearm and continues upward in front of the elbow along the lateral border of the biceps brachii muscle. It pierces the deep fascia, runs into the deltopectoral groove and after piercing the clavipectoral fascia, joins the axillary vein. This light blue color vein represents the axillary vein. To watch my video on clavipectoral fascia, click on to the i button or check out the link provided in the description box. At the elbow, the greater part of the cephalic vein is drained into the basilic vein with the help of the median cubital vein. This vein present here is the median cubital vein and partly also into the deep vein through the perforator vein. It is accompanied by the lateral cutaneous nerves of the forearm and the terminal part of the radial nerve. An accessory cephalic vein is sometimes present, the basilic vein. The basilic vein is the postaxial vein of the upper limb. It begins from the medial end of the dorsal venous arch. It runs upwards along the medial border of the forearm, winds around this border near the elbow, continues in front of the elbow along the medial margin of the biceps brachii muscle up to the middle of the arm, where it pierces the deep fascia and joins the axillary vein at the lower border of the teres major muscle. This blue color vein represents the axillary vein. At about 0.25 cm above the medial epicondyle of the humerus, it is joined by the median cubital vein. It is accompanied by the posterior branches of medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm and the terminal part of the dorsal branch of the ulnar nerve. Median cubital vein. This is the median cubital vein. It is a large communicating vein which shunts the blood from the cephalic vein to the basilic vein. It begins from the cephalic vein, runs obliquely upwards and medially to end into the basilic vein. It is separated from the brachial artery by the bicipital aponeurosis. It may receive tributaries from the front of the forearm through the median vein of the forearm and is connected to the deep vein through the perforator vein. The medial cubital vein is an ideal choice for the intravenous injections. Median vein of the forearm. This is the median vein of the forearm. It begins from the palmar venous network and ends in any one of the vein in front of the elbow mostly into the median cubital vein. Next we have is the deep vein. The deep vein starts as a small vena committance running on each side as the digital veins. These veins continues proximally as the superficial and deep palmar arches. Then they courses proximally to continue as vena committance of the major arteries so the veins are the radial and ulnar vein which further joins to form the brachial vein. The brachial vein lies on each side of the brachial artery. These joins the axillary vein at the lower border of the teres major muscle. 
download this image visit my facebook or instagram page the links are provided in the description box if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel also join me on my instagram and facebook page for notes quizzes and charts of these videos the links are provided in the description box see you soon in my next video